I would like to think everything is possible. I'd like to swim in the sea, whether it's the summer or winter. I'd like to see opportunities everywhere, adventures here and there. I'd like to think I could find my own path and be part of something unique. Find my own crew at the University of Oulu, where future pioneers are educated to build a more sustainable, intelligent and humane world. Oulu, always a good idea. All right, hello, welcome everyone to this studio discussion about study orientation and housing here in Oulu. Here in the Linanma campus studio, I am together with a panel of student uh, service staff and um, student housing staff members. And we will today discuss about the opportunities to smoothly dive into your life and studies here in Oulu, more concretely about the student orientation and the housing possibilities for students here in Oulu. I hope that this session will give you a good understanding of how the university supports you in starting your studies here and yeah, that you will then have a clear picture of your start here in Oulu. My name is Vanessa, I'm studying marketing here at the University of Oulu and I'm happy to share the studio here today with Yari, Nina and Ulla. Would you three like to introduce yourself? Okay, I'll start. Um, hi, my name is Ulla. I work at the Academic Affairs team and uh, my main responsibility here is to coordinate the services that we offer to our international degree students. Okay, welcome Ulla. Thank you. <laughs> and my name is Nina. I also work here in the Academic Affairs in the Counseling Services team and I am coordinating the first year experience of our new students. All right, welcome to you as well. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, and uh, my name is Jari Simonen and I work for PSOAS, the uh, the housing organization and uh, I'm responsible for the um, renting operations like overall. Okay, nice to have you here as well. Thanks for having um, me. First of all, to all of our um, new students who are in the audience, um, you can send your questions to uh, presmo.olu.fi slash ask and we will be happy to answer all of your questions within uh, this session, so don't hesitate to ask if there is anything. I remember that only a year ago I was in the same position as the audience now, as our newly accepted students, and I was very excited to start my life and my studies here in Oulu, so I'm sure that many of the new students share this feeling of excitement of starting a new chapter, moving to a new city, and many even to a new country. But luckily there are many services available for the students that make it easier for them to settle here and become a part of the community of our university. And I remember that personally, I particularly enjoyed the orientation week at the beginning of the academic year, which will be at end of September, uh, end of August, <laughs> beginning of September in that week. And yeah, because that was the first chance for me to get to know the campus and my fellow students. So my first question would be to you, Nina and Ulla, um, could you two tell us a bit about the services that the university provides for the new students to settle here and to start their studies? Um, well, yeah, um, the most important one probably is the orientation, as you already mentioned. So uh, we provide a lot of information and show the students how our university works and what are the practicalities and what they need to know in order to like efficiently start their studies after the orientation week. So um, orientation is probably one of the most important mm. services for our new degree students. Yeah, I agree. It's important. Is yeah. there anything more that our new students can look forward to? Yeah. So each of our new students uh, receives their own student tutor, who is a uh, more experienced student, usually from the same field, who helps, helps them with the arrival and uh, getting to know their new uh, study group and and their studies and during the orientation week uh, we have different kind of events for our students that help them to uh, settle and get to know everything basically and we have a variety of uh, support services for our new students so we have uh, counseling services who offer for example uh, career counseling um, study support services and um, we have the student union, we have study psychologists and sports services, 
so you definitely don't have to navigate here alone we have many kinds of services to support you i'm sure that that's good to hear for our new students um ulla could you maybe tell us a bit more about this particular orientation week at the beginning of the academic year um how is it scheduled and what does it offer like what will the new students get to know in this orientation week um yeah sure um well before the actual orientation in in late august we of course offer the pre-orientation sessions as well so maybe i mention a bit about those as well so um this is actually part of the pre-orientation so our webinars um and uh also one pre-orientation uh service that we offer which is quite uh, new to us as well is the offer holder hub so all accepted students have been invited to join the online platform where they can meet other students and and representative from the faculties and degree programs and kind of like already uh, build networks and get to know each other and get some more insight about the degree program and what's what's going to happen and then um, in late august so the orientation week uh, begins on 28th the mon monday and um, on 29th of august we have a general orientation session for all our international degree students in which we go through uh, the, for example, uh, study practicalities. Um, so as we'll be there talking about housing once more, uh, we will have student union representatives present. Um, study psychologists will be there. Also um, student organizations uh, in addition to um, a student union will be presenting their activities and um, all that stuff that students need to know. And during that week also, uh, in, in addition to that general session, there will be a um, program hosted by the faculties and the degree programs. And those are very important for our new students because then they get to know all the staff from their faculties and degree programs and the study practicalities, like what is uh, common in that a certain degree program for example how are the courses done and what's the program and what's the schedule and stuff like that so um definitely a <laughs> week of of full loaded week yeah. of information sounds excited yeah. how about for example the language courses i think many people are already thinking about what the opportunities they have to learn languages will they also get information on that that's a good question uh, of course uh we encourage all our students to start studying Finnish as they arrive here and uh, our Finnish teachers will be present at the orientation telling about their, their they have this whole kind of like study path from the survival uh, level to the intermediate level that the students can follow and, and actually become quite sufficient speakers of Finnish if okay. they follow that path. Yeah, so. I'm sure that's good to know yeah. <laughs> for many of them. Um, yeah, uh, I actually remember that last year uh, during my orientation week of my faculty, which is Oulu Business School, we had so many different kinds of events. As you mentioned, there's these kind of events which are um, specifically for my major, but then there were also joint events for everyone in the faculty or, as you said, for all of the other international degree students. So it was a good opportunity to get to know who I will actually be studying with and I also enjoyed that we had like a first taste of the study experience here in Oulu because we had this um, this case blender which is like a joint case study with everyone from the Oulu Business School but everyone was working in groups with their own major so this was the first time I got to actually work with my uh, with my fellow students so that was very exciting and also, I remember that besides the actual academic um, events, there was also social activities, which were mainly organized by the student guilds. This is like, uh, yeah, like organize, yeah, student organizations of each faculty. And I can only recommend the students to also join these guilds because that's a really great opportunity to very soon, already in the beginning of the studies, get to know fellow students. So I would say that for me, the orientation in autumn really, really shaped the beginning of my studies because when I went to my first lectures, I actually um, recognized some familiar faces already and I think there couldn't be an, an easier start to such an exciting new step than already knowing a few people. Um, yeah, some of you might already be wondering how to register for courses. And as Ulla said, there will be more information on that during the orientation week. Um, 
very briefly said there is a the university has its own system called PEPI where it's possible to register for courses but I also recommend to join the orientation week to get the uh, actual like study program specific information because that's very like varying from program to program and um, also about starting the studies I think that many people actually wonder how the study methods are in the university and I can say that based on my previous experience here it's in my faculty at least in Olu Business School we have very varied study methods. We have exams and lectures which I think are very typical for university studies but we have a lot of group work as well. We have case studies and I think the favorite course I had so far was brand management where as a final assignment we could conduct a brand audit about a brand of our choice so it's really possible to apply it to practice uh, what you just learned so um, that's definitely something what for me makes it very special to to study here um, but maybe let's talk a bit more about the student tutor since that is the first contact that our new students will have within the student community um, Nina could you explain us uh, who are the student tutors exactly and what is their role how do they help our new students yeah so student tutors are um, uh, students from the same field as our new students. Um, so each of the new student is assigned with their own tutor um, who is trained to their role. And within your own study group, with the help of the tutor, you will then get familiar with the uh, degree program content, with the university environment, with the OLU environment. Uh, the student tutors will help help you with the grouping and take you to events and, and uh, be there to support with everything. You know, student tutor is the first person you can then send a message with a very low threshold and ask like, hey, what is this and what should I do now? And and as mentioned before, um, you will already get before your studies start the information of your tutor and they will be in contact with you, help you with the arrival, uh, for example, picking up the keys for your apartment with all the practical things. The tutors will be there to help you. They are like a peer support, you know, they have started their studies here most likely last year or the year before that. So they have a very good experience, like what's the information you need exactly when, before you arrive here and when you arrive here and, and like that. Do you have Ulla something to add? No, the, nothing more than uh, the student tutors are really important and mm. they are very valuable. So, and I would also like to say that because we have this tutoring system, uh, our new students, they don't really need to stress that much because mm. they know that there will be someone here yeah. waiting for them. I agree yeah. that as a as a student, I can only say that this gave me a lot of safety, basically, that I knew that there is someone who I already knew when I come to mm, Oulu. Yeah. And my tutor, for example, also helped me to pick up the keys, as you mentioned. And then he also created a WhatsApp group with all of the students that uh, he has as a tutor. So he was also like a bridge um, connecting us new students with each other, but also with the older students. So yeah. I agree that that's a great system. Um, maybe before we move on to the topic of housing, which I'm sure is very interesting as well for <laughs> the audience. Um, do we have some questions in the chat which we could, which we could answer? Yes, there is actually a question about um, the student tutor or student tutors, when will I get my student tutors contact information? Would you like to answer? Uh, well, <clears throat> I can answer that one. Um, unfortunately, there's not like one set date that we can give to students mm. because every faculty operates uh, on a bit of a different schedule. But uh, students, uh, student, students will hear about their student tutors uh, before their arrival at the at the during the summer at the latest okay yeah, yeah i'm sure that's reassuring to hear yeah. for all of our new students <laughs> if there's no other question uh, you can still send questions to the chat we will answer them but um 
yeah, let's move on with the topic of housing, since Oulu will not only be a place to study for the new students, but also uh, their home for at least the next two years. I'm sure many of them are already wondering how they can get an apartment or a room here in Oulu and how to start the whole process. Um, generally, renting a room or a flat from PSOAS, from the local student housing organization, is uh, the smoothest way for students to settle here to get an apartment. And today is uh, Yari Simonen with us, the service manager of PSOAS, of Oulu's Student Housing Association. And he will tell us the basics about how to get started and what is important to know about the student housing here. Um, I remember that when um, I started to plan my life here in Oulu, uh, it was actually one of the most exciting things for me to go through the list of apartments and uh, watch the apartments and the pictures and the descriptions on the website. And I can say from my own experience, you can spend a lot of time <laughs> <laughs> browsing through the apartments and starting to dream about your new apartment and uh, just watching the whole area on Google Maps and everything. It, it was very, very fun. Um, so I'm excited to hear also what kind of advices you have for the future, uh, yeah, or new students. Maybe, Yari, could you first of all explain us what are the two main ways of applying for PSOAS housing? Okay, yeah, I will. Um, uh, well, first of all, um, you have the, uh, the process of vacant apartments, which means that uh, you can see on our website some apartments that have been posted as vacant. And that means that at that time, there is no people applying for that apartment. Usually uh, this time of the year or at the beginning of the summer, there are some uh, apartments that there's no queue or no waiting list for those apartments. So, so um, if you go through those apartments and if you happen to find something that you, you would like to choose, you can just reserve the apartment um, and uh, you'll get it. Uh, the thing with the, the vacant apartments process is that uh, when you reserve a, a vacant apartment, your lease will begin right away. So you will have to start paying the rent right away. So, so um, uh, that's something that's, it, it's, you will have to know that. Uh, and and um, if, if you reserve a vacant apartment, let's say in, in uh, late May or June, uh, you will have a lot more selection for, for your apartments than uh, at, the, at the end of the summer. So the, the good thing about the vacant apartments is that there will be wider selection. Uh, then again, the, the other option would be uh, sending an open application. And uh, in your open application, you will just set your criteria, how much you can pay for the apartment, whether you want to be sharing the apartment with someone or living alone and so on. Uh, what area you would be like to live in, like to be living in, and so on, and uh, you also uh, in in an open application you will also set a date when you need the apartment. So let's say that you are coming in August, and then you will need the, the apartment from the beginning of August, for instance. So so um, in in that case, if if you send an open application, we will be we will start looking for the apartment for you for that uh, set date. So that that's maybe the 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 biggest differences between these two uh, mm -hmm. two options, and uh, uh, then your lease uh, when you send the open application and we offer the apartment for you, let's say for August, for instance, then your lease will begin in August and you will be paying the rent from the beginning of August. Okay, thank you. I'm sure that's useful to know that there are these different possibilities and what are the advantages of each. Um, what would you um, say about the locations? What locations are available for the student housing here in Oulu? Okay, uh, yeah, that's a good question. Um, uh, I, I have some slides which I will be showing at the same time when I'm answering your question and uh, the audience should be able to see uh, in the stream. Um, yeah, we we have a lot of uh, a lot of um, apartments in different parts of the city. We have about the, the housing capacity of PSOAS is about 5,500 uh, tenants. And uh, uh, a bit over half of our apartments are uh, right next to the campus in, in, in Linnanmaa campus. So, uh, so close to the, uh, the, the biggest campus. Uh, but we also have uh, apartments in, in other, other parts of the city um, in, in the in the stream, you should now see some some um, houses close to the um, uh, city center. So so that's another place where we have have apartments. 
uh, all the apartments are either close to educational institutions or, or the city center. So, so that's basically it. But uh, yeah, you have a lot of variety. You can even uh, stay right next to the campus or closer to the city center. So it's up to you mm -hmm. to decide. Yeah, that's a good thing that people can actually choose, like based on their preferences, what would suit them as a location. And what kinds of rooms or apartments are available to rent? Uh, yeah, we have like uh, three different types. Uh, first of all, if, if you are uh, willing to share the apartment with someone and, and uh, that way cut costs, you can uh, live in a shared apartment, which in most cases means that you have your own lockable room uh, and then you will be sharing the kitchen and uh, in many cases also the shower. Uh, there are also shared apartments where you only share the kitchen and you have your own shower. It depends on, on the location. But uh, yeah, shared apartments and shared living is the, the cheapest option. Uh, then you can also choose uh, to live in a studio. Uh, the av availability of studios is not as, as uh, good as uh, for shared housing. But, uh, but if, if you stay here for a couple of years or, or several years, that you will be able to uh, get a studio as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then, then we also have a family apartments for for uh, couples and and uh, even students who have have children, and um, the range is from let's say from ten square meters up to eighty square meters. Okay, that's good to know. And and I remember when I was browsing online that I could actually compare all of the sizes and prices to also get an idea of mm -hmm. yeah. what to expect. Um, that would lead us to the next question. What is the price range for the student housing? Very important probably for many applicants. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the good thing about Olu is that the, the, the housing uh, is, is uh, quite affordable compared to many other cities in Finland. Uh, our, the cheapest uh, apartments or the cheapest options that we have, they, they begin from less than, less than 200 euros per month. Uh, that is usually shared housing, mm -hmm. and uh, the most expensive ones are the are the biggest uh, family apartments, of course, and and uh, they the range is uh, up to around 750 euros, but those apartments are like around 80, 80 square meters. Thank you. That's good to get a first like impression. And um, so, as apartments are not furnished, what exactly does that mean here in Finland? Yeah, that, I think that that's an excellent question because this differs from one country to another. Um, in our context, that means that uh, the tenants will have to get their own bed, uh, a study desk, uh, maybe chairs. In shared apartments, there usually are there's usually the the dining table and and chairs are there, but for your own room, uh, you will need to get the uh, the desk and and chair. Uh, also, lighting in your in your own room, you will have to buy the lamps, and so on. But uh, there's all uh, we always uh, provide, or the, the apartments they always come with with like wardrobes and kitchen cupboards and and such. So so uh, and all, all the appliances, of mm. course. So so yeah, I think we once had this young man coming from other parts of Europe, and he was coming with a kitchen. So, oh, wow. <laughs> so, so the, the, this is good to know for, for the Definitely, audience. definitely. And from my perspective, I personally enjoy when I can furnish the room myself, so I can kind of bring up my individuality, individuality also to, yeah. the, to the home. And um, why do we actually already now talk about the housing application? Why is it so important to consider that already now? Yeah, uh, well, that's because um, the sooner you apply, uh, the higher up you will be on the waiting list. So if you send an open application, which I uh, explained earlier, uh, the sooner you apply, uh, the, um, the more variety you will have for your, for your um, uh, housing solution. Because, and also, uh, I would like to mention that um, the, the international students, they, they have like, uh, an advantage over the, the Finnish students because uh, they get their approval from the school uh, earlier. Like mm -hmm. the Finnish students, they usually get uh, their approvals in, in June. And, and uh, when, when international students apply now, if they haven't already, uh, they, they will have like a head start of 
almost two months. <laughs> okay, well, that's good to know. Yeah. So I hope that people remember that to, to apply early and don't get lost in dreaming of their new apartment, but actually start to apply as well. Yeah, I can say that as a PSOAS tenant, I really enjoy living in a PSOAS apartment, not only because the application and the renting process was so easy, but also because once you live in PSOAS, you can also use very many useful services, such as laundry rooms in the in the houses, club rooms, then there is also the internet connection, of course, that's important. And also sauna, which is an impar important part of uh, Finnish lifestyle, as uh, our new students will for sure notice at one point they are here in Oulu. Um, yeah, do you guys have any, um, any final remarks, wishes or comments for the audience? That's something that you would like to to add or to emphasize about the services that we provide? Well, I would maybe add that um, some people, they choose to uh, rent the uh, apartment like earlier in the summer. Uh, if, if you decide to rent the apartment from the beginning of September, for instance, you will have less options uh, than the ones who decide to rent in, let's say, July or August. So that's something to consider if if you uh, if you have a certain uh, kind of a if if you if, uh, if you have like strict uh, set of of criteria for your apartment, then it might be a good idea to uh, rent the apartment a bit earlier in the mm -hmm. summer. If you are not that, if you if you just need a roof above your head, then it's mm. fine to rent in September. So that's mm. one tip I could give. I see. That's a good hint. How about you? Um, well, my tip probably would be to like um, follow the pre-orientation webinars that we have. So like next week we already have the next one about our traineeships and future careers in Oulu. That might be of interest to students. And there are still like, um, after this one, I think there's still five to come. So um, definitely follow the pre-orientation webinars. And also, I would recommend students to um, participate in the uh, Offer Holder Hub, because that also gives a lot of information. And there might be some extra videos or, mm -hmm. or also like um, small webinars organized by their fellow students and, and um, professors and teachers and so on. So. That would be my tip. And also, one very important <laughs> thing, uh, to arrive in Oulu in time for the orientation week mm. in August, because <laughs> you will miss out a lot of information and a lot of fun if you don't mm. participate in the I orientation agree. week. I agree. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just want to emphasize that, that we are here to help, help our new students with everything. And like I mentioned before, you don't have to, have to navigate here alone. So mm. there is support for... Well, I would like to say for all the cases. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we are here, here for you. Okay, thank you. Do we have still some questions uh, from the audience that we can answer before we close this session? Yes, there are some questions. And, and um, if I was listening carefully, you have already answered some of these, but uh, maybe there might be a need for some clarification again. So there's. Um, two questions for Yari to begin with uh, about housing. Mm -hmm. So um, you did touch upon the vacancy and then the op open applications, but there's a question. Most of the apartments are not available. Please guide us what should we do and how late can we apply before moving in in September? So if you want more, maybe okay. summarize. Yeah, maybe I will go through once more. So. Uh, if you know that you are coming to Oulu, uh, I would recommend you to apply right away. Because uh, even if, if something happened and, and you didn't come here, uh, just applying doesn't uh, give you any commitments towards PSOAS. So anyways, apply right away, because then you will be on, on top of the, the, uh, the waiting list. Uh, was that the... did I answer the question already? <laughs> Yeah, so no, no, so no harm about about applying as early as possible. And as a rule of thumb, I think there's no no use of waiting. Uh, exactly. Yeah, no that. use of waiting. Yeah, yes. that's the case. One more question for Yari. 
Can we book a specific apartment we like, for example, Etappi Arkistot, because it is the only apartment I love? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Um, if if you see uh, a, an apartment that you really like and it has been uh, marked as marked as vacant, then you can just uh, reserve that apartment as possible. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, if, if you reserve a vacant apartment, then it means that your lease will begin right away. So so if you would now reserve a, an apartment, you would have to be uh, paying the rent like uh, from now, from from like the beginning of April until as, as long as you move out. <laughs> so maybe maybe it's not a good idea to reserve a vacant apartment yet. But uh, uh, you can also, if you are sending an open application, it's possible to limit your options that I would only like to live in this uh, particular apartment or this location. But uh, then it's it's good to uh, keep on mind that there will be a lot of others, uh, other people applying in the summer as well. So uh, I would recommend you not to limit your criteria too much because that's pretty much the only way you can end up uh, with not getting a trust apartment. If you narrow down your options too much, then you might not be able to get the, the uh, student apartment at all. But uh, yeah, just be reasonable with the, with the criteria and, and that's, that's, you, you will be able to find source housing then. And then there is a question for Yari again. Um, I think this is a yes and yes or no question. Is it possible to pay extra money to get a furnished apartment? Unfortunately not. Um, we do have furnished apartments for the exchange students because their leases are so short it, that it doesn't uh, make sense for them to buy their own furniture. Uh, in the past, we tried uh, furnishing the apartments for the, for the degree students as well. But the problem was that uh, when they moved in, they would first like to have the uh, furnished apartment, but then uh, a couple of months later, they would tell us that I don't need the furniture anymore. Maybe I will get my own. And and also the fact that uh, the Finnish and, the, and the, the international students, they are living in the same apartments when, when if, uh, we, we would end up in situations where an international student would rent an apartment and then move out and it was furnished and, and then there was a Finnish person coming after that and he, he or she didn't want the furniture so we would have to get rid of them so so at the moment no we only have furnished for for the uh, exchange students thank you and then we have two questions related to the orientation so um when will be the first day of orientation in august the orientation week uh, starts on the 28th of August. And one more question about orientation. When or arriving, when is the optimum time to arrive in Oulu before the start of the semester? How many weeks ahead of time? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, we don't have a, any uh, set arrival date for the international degree students only that uh, students would arrive uh, by the start of the orientation week. But of course, um, it depends on the person how much time you would like to have to get maybe your house or your apartment furnished or get settled in. Um, I don't know, maybe Vanessa, mm. maybe you have some insight for this one. Yeah, I was just reflecting like when I moved here. So uh, I moved here around a month ahead. So 1st of August and I definitely enjoyed having this one month to settle and to get to know to the place because still moving is like very exciting and um, it can be very nerve-wracking and you have uh, a lot to organize in a way so um, I, I really I was also happy to have one more month of summer in Oulu because um, yeah summer um, is precious and <laughs> it feels like it's short so i really enjoyed this the, these weeks in august here and also uh one thing that um i remember is that uh, it might of course also be if you agree with your tutor on picking up the keys that um if you move very 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 early again it might be that the tutor is still on holiday and of course um 
the later you come, the more people might be here. But on the other hand, you will need that time to, to settle in, to get uh, a part like furniture and just to get used to the place. So I recommend arriving at least two weeks ahead because otherwise everything is so like time wise, very narrow. But yeah, I guess that also depends on the person and mm. and where they come from and how much they have to organize. Yeah. yeah. Do we have any more questions from the audience? Yeah, if not, then I would thank you uh, for this discussion. I hope um, that this was useful for all of the audience, all of our new students, and um, that they now feel assured that the university and also the student housing organization provide a lot of information and support for new students to settle here. And yeah, as Ulla already mentioned, stay tuned for our upcoming events. Um, use the offer holder hub to get to know fellow students and how uh, everything works here. And um, yeah, make sure to follow us on YouTube to also get more information. And yeah, take care and see you in Oulu, hopefully. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you.